Now, this one here is a two-part question, and I could put it both together. So it leads to, it's like a team accountability question. So you have systems in place, people knowing what their roles are. You have, say, role divisions, like backup assistant, lead assistant, everything, and they know what they need to do. So, um, and even admins. So now you look and the schedule is consistently not full or things are missing in the room setup, even though the system is in place and there's somebody doing that role. So how would you deal with those types of things? So we've trained people, but there's no accountability to a large degree. Yes. So I'll give you the example because I've been through this many, many times. I was the training person for new assistants in our clinic. Not because I wanted to be, but because I needed to make sure that all of my associates did what they were supposed to do, which meant I needed to give them an assistant who only knew one way, which was my way. Okay, so this is part of the system was to make sure that everyone is standardized on the way in. Well, I would get a backup assistant, which is where people started in our office and clinical area, who would check all the boxes of what they did to set up the room, but chronically one thing wasn't there that was checked, and it wasn't the same thing. So I would say, I would say okay, to my, my lead assistant, here's what we're gonna do. When there's something missing, you're not gonna get up and run, you're gonna follow the process. You're gonna send a message, and they're gonna go and get it, and we're gonna wait. And after, you know, after the appointment, I would go to the person and say, hey, you know, when we sit around for five minutes waiting for, for a material, the patient, like, I got to tell jokes that they're not very funny. You know, like, the patient's kind of like, you know, <laughs> trying to laugh, trying to, like, make me feel good. But, you know, I, I just joke about it, but they can see that it's not ideal, okay? So I'm, I'm trying to be polite in my saying you missed something. I prefer that you didn't. And after I do that four or five times in the same day, they get it. If I avoid it and I just tell my team leader, this person isn't doing what they're supposed to do, what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. It's their third party to it. Deal with it on the spot. This person's not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not doing it. You know, catch them for two minutes and say, hey, you're doing a great job for week two, you know, or month three or whatever it is. Um, but here's the thing. When you check the box, you got to make sure you put the thing in where it's supposed to go. So maybe we need to have a better process. Like what would you suggest? I like this one. What would you suggest we change or we do to make sure that when you check a box, you did the thing? It's an awkward question, but it's not a rude question. It's just making them think like, gee, maybe I should just do it. <laughs> you know, there's only one obvious answer, right? Obviously, but <clears throat> again, it's, see, I'm, I'm being polite about it, and I've done this thousands of times, okay? But it's how you get them there. Now, if I do this, and it's like day three of the same stuff, now we have a problem. Because it's not a training issue, they're stupid. Let me rephrase. <laughs> they got past our hiring system, and maybe there's a better role for them in the office. Or maybe there isn't, I don't know. But that's why that was stop number one, because before we invest a ton of time and training and energy, if this person can't check a box and do a thing that they check the box for, we have a problem, right? So this is how you avoid getting into like, this person's now been trained on this and this and this and this, and it's been a year and they still can't get it right. Hey, how did it get to be a year? You know, basically. Right. So <clears throat> now for all positions in the office, it's the same, except now we talk about so I, you, you kind of hinted that maybe there was an admin version of this, like this person knows how to do, let's say, hygiene coordinator schedule, but the schedule's not full. Well, there's two possibilities. Maybe there's three if you count COVID. Um, but we'll, we'll leave that one alone because right now, thankfully, we don't have that problem. Um, and like we did anyway. But maybe this person is doing the job and literally there aren't enough patients to call which by the way happens in no office pretty well ever. <clears throat> if we run the, the list, there's 600 people to call. So something's changed. I don't know what's changed, we have to diagnose that. But are they doing what they're supposed to do? Are they doing it when they're supposed to do it? And that needs more discussion because maybe there actually is a training issue but you think there isn't. 
Maybe you think the person knows the system and they really don't. I don't know. We'd have to ferret that one out. Like in that specific example, if a person knows how to do it but can't seem to get anyone to schedule, I would put call box in that, in that environment. I, I would try to record all the calls and find out what's happening. Mm -hmm. I would want to see what's going on there. What is this person saying? What are they calling? Are they just getting answering machines? Because there's, there's a better way to do that, right? Like we, we have this, like well, text messages get responded to way faster than emails. No one checks their voicemail. Right. If you didn't talk to the person, it was like you never called. So you got to do something. If your system sucks, then that's the problem. But we don't know. Right? Every market's different. Right. And every practice is a little different depending on the demographic of who you're serving. If you have an older patient base and you call them at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you're going to get them. If you have like a downtown core patient base and you don't call them at dinner time, you're not going to get them. Or text them. Or, you know, it's a thousand different solutions to this problem, right? I don't know which what it specifically is because there's a lot of scenarios that could play here. But when a person is trained and isn't performing, then I would call that more a matter of a, of a system accountability issue and I would want to dig into that. And that's what we do, right? So that's where your program advisor would be instrumental. Uh, I don't, I mean, unless you could think of, is there, is there a simple answer to that question or? You got it. Yeah, to me it's diagnosis, right? That, yeah. That's when you need help to diagnose and that's what we're here for. Yeah. You, we, there's probably a handful of touch points and it may be something that I didn't think of and I didn't mention specifically related to your practice and what we know and what the numbers show and so on that we could pull out as an additional way to look at it. But I guarantee engage with us, we'll find the problem. Perfect. Excellent. So